did you obviously do something I wasn't for sick no yeah I did <laughs> no something. yeah I did something but I wasn't high Sarah is my girlfriend I love her and I want to be with her but I told her if she don't get clean and I'm gonna be clean we can't stay together it, it won't work it just won't work I love you I love you I'm a heroin junkie. I honestly should have already been into a rehab, but like every addict does, so like you think you just put it off and put it off. <laughs> Go ahead and catch your breath. 20 minutes left. We're done. Well, that was a lot better, Rush. Hello? What is she going to jail for? She ran a red light or something by accident and they found some stuff on her. So they're charging her with possession good of one. You know, she, I know she's trying to do the right thing. I mean, I don't know. Only her and God knows, I guess. But, you know, I hope she's trying to do the right thing. But she's procrastinating a little bit. It sucks. You know, but I feel like she's trying and now she's going to jail. Pop pasta. I was taking somebody to the grocery store actually and uh, we got pulled over and they charged me with heroin. I was so ready to go <laughs> to rehab. I'm on probation so they're probably going to violate me. For the possession charge, I'll probably get 30 days. Depends on how much was in the bag. So you could end up being here longer than 30 days? Yeah, most definitely. I'm sweating. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm shaky. I'll get weak. I won't be able to eat. It's not like I've not detoxed in jail before. Anything you can think of I should ask her? If she remembers a lot before drugs. I do, but um, I've, always, I've honestly been on drugs for so long that I've never I've never had like a fully functioning uh, adult life on, without drugs, except for like seven or eight months. Even when you want to stop, it's hard. It changes you, your whole core. <laughs> I want to have a better life. I don't want to keep coming in here. I don't want to be sick all the time. I want to be with Joey, but Statistically, it's very, very slim to none that we could be together and be clean. But I really do want to be clean. And I know Joey does because he's, he's out there doing the damn thing. So I don't know what's going to happen, though. I guess I shouldn't have waited. I should have just went. <laughs> yeah, see ya. Burglary of auto, burglary of home, public intoxications, resistant arrest, disorderly conduct. What are these? Charge history, vandalism, thefts, arson. That's from where I set the annex on fire. Uh, Aggravated burglary, 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 evading arrest, assault, 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 unlawful carrying or possession of weapons, identity theft, theft over $2,500, $42,000 worth. And then this one is like 17 pages long. And that's just what you got caught for? Yeah. Wow. Right now, I'm executing an 11-year sentence. I got about a year and a half left on it. He was about ready to start cooking. Tonight's menu is beans, greens, hominy, cornbread, pudding, and a drink packet. 
uh, got brought over here because their inmates that worked in the kitchen <laughs> got tested and they failed the drug test and lost their jobs. So now I'm the cook for the Cobb County Jail. And this is where the process begins. Right here's the beans. We're just heating it up out of the can. <laughs> Have you ever cooked anything in your life? No, I'm state raised. That's all I've ever done is time. I never had the experience of having to cook on the streets. Oh. We're cooking for 119 people. Breakfast, lunch, and supper Monday through Sunday. It's a hard work. Burning, have you stirred them? No. Nope. <laughs> I smell them burning from back here. Yep, they're burnt. That's still a four yard land. <laughs> <laughs> have you tasted the food that you've cooked? Yeah, it's rough. Burned everything yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> when you enjoy, you eat what you get, I guess. The food is horrible. Look at cockroach. Cock County Jail's Ooh. finest. There's cockroaches that can bench press a tray. You know, they're so big. Are those cockroaches everywhere? Yeah, they'll fly off the ceiling on it. Eating. Give me eating? Yeah, I don't want to be no about it. Oh, God dang it. <laughs> He's a squirmer. All right, I think I should. Ready? <laughs> Give me some, buddy. Yeah. Hey, I won't hurt you. No, I ain't worried about it. Mama didn't know you no <laughs> He's gone. You don't come in this kitchen. Man, this is a county jail. It's not a five-star hotel. You ain't gonna get bed and breakfast. You gonna get what you get. It's part of being in jail. Every day that I work, they're giving me two for ones off my sentence, which means, say you got a year to do, your sentence will come back to six months instead of a year. I gotta get out because of the situation that's going on in my family. I need to be there. If you will place your knees on that bench, as we transport you, you're gonna be shackled. The other day I called home and mom said, that my dad was real bad sick, that he had Alzheimer's or dementia. And I asked her how long that he was gonna make it. And uh, she said that they really don't know yet, but the situation was bad. Be back here in just a little while. I talked to the jail administrator and they said police could escort me back home. I still got a little bit of time I have to do. I was afraid that he might pass away before I get to see him again. <laughs> small back here, ain't it? It's really small back here. You think it's gonna be emotional today? I, it might be. I mean, I got a pretty hard heart, you know. I just, I ain't cried in a long time. A very long time. 10, 15 years. You think a cry would be good? Probably. Be able to see my kid today. I don't get to see him that much, so I'm happy to see him. This is the house I grew up in. The last time I was there, I don't know how long, really. You know, I stayed so high and messed up. And you know, if I'm not doing right, I ain't allowed down there. Damn. 
Hi. Love you. What? 